I'm feeling myself. I'm feeling my Hi everyone, so today I will be filming my IMATS haul. Um, I went to IMATS last weekend. If you guys are not familiar with IMATS, it is the International Makeup Artist Trade Show. And basically you have a lot of makeup companies, big, uh, independent, big or small. So um, they sell it at a discounted price. So I've been waiting like literally since last year to go on this trip. And I finally went. Um, I also grabbed a couple of things uh, while being in LA so I will show you some of those things as well as well as tell you the discounts that I receive on some of these products that I'm going to show you and yeah so if you guys want to see everything that I picked up from my LA uh, eye mask trip just stick around and watch this video. Hey guys, so I'm going to start off with this haul where I lost my noodle at, as my friend Ashley says don't lose your noodle lost her noodle I lost my noodle at dose of color look at this huge bag that they gave us like this bag is a walking advertisement like seriously I got seven lip products from dose of color there we go I got seven products from dose of colors and three of them are lip glosses two no three are lip glosses three are the liquid lipsticks and the uh, last item is a lip, uh, a lipstick from them all. So I'm going to start off with the uh, lip glosses. So the very first one that I got was Sunshine Kisses. And it's a nice coral gloss here. And what I like about Dosa Color Glosses is that the fact that they have good pig pigmentation on them. Like seriously, these glosses. And they're super creamy. So they're not like sticky glosses. And it has like a flat doe foot wide applicator on there, which is really nice. And I just love Dosa Color packaging. Like it's just so cute and, oop, I'm about to drop it. So cute and girly, right? So this is a swatch of Sunshine Kisses. As you can see how pigmented that gloss is, like it's seriously the bomb.com, right? And the next gloss that I got was Wow Chow. Okay, Angel, it's your fault that I lost my noodle on this one because uh, Wild Child is a nice pinky uh, color with like some purple uh, undertone in it, I want to say. Because like when you look at it, it's just, look at this gloss. Like it's just amazing, you guys. And for this one, let me see. I think I paid, uh, how much were the glosses? Oh, you know what? I got it in here. I got my receipt in here in my bag. So the glosses were $12 and they are originally like, I want to say $15 on the website. So that's what I got with the glosses. And the last gloss that I got was a new gloss. And this one is called Undress. And you could never have enough nudes in my opinion. Or I'm just a crazy person who just likes makeup, right? So this is Undress right there. It's a nice nude color, as you can see. Okay. So the next item that I want to show you all were uh, the, the lipstick that I actually got from Dosa Color. And I had planned on getting three lipsticks, but somehow I ended up getting three glosses and one lipstick and then three liquid lipsticks. I don't know. But this uh, lipstick is uh, called uh, Poise, and it's a new lipstick. And I just like how they have like dose right there, and it's just cute because you know what color it is like on the outside and look just like the lipstick color. So that is Poise, and let me do a swatch right here for you all. So that's Poise right there, the top there. And uh, the lipstick is $13 or what it, uh, it was $13 at those a uh, color. And I think the lipsticks are originally like $16, I want to say. So a good deal on the lipstick. Alright, so last but not least, the uh, last three things I got were the liquid matte lipsticks. And this the first one is Bury Me. And it's actually what I'm wearing right now. And I just have a little bit of a snob in the middle. I just, I, I like ombre lips. I don't know why. But um, I just want to see how it looks, to be honest. But this is uh, Bury Me. 
swatch even though you can see it on my lips you can see it right there as well isn't it cute 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 and this stuff it's like ugh. <sighs> I like I, I can see that 2015 is about to be the year for like liquid lipsticks like every company is about to have them seriously and they are like the best thing and the liquid lipsticks were 15 and they are originally 18 so yeah you get to see like the deals that you get at IMAS and plus it's no shipping and I don't even think I paid tax on these so that was good too <laughs> So the next one I want to show you is Pinky, Pinky Promise, and it's a nice like bright pink. As you can see, I swatched it right here. And Pinky Promise kind of uh, kind of reminds me of Pink Velvet from Vine Cry, but this one is a little bit more, uh, like a little like a shade darker than that one, and the formulation is different. So yeah. Or I just wanted it because it was pink. Yeah, it's my excuse and I'm sticking with it. And last but not least is their newest addition to their liquid lipsticks called Black Rose. And it's actually limited edition. And I stayed in Dosa Color Line for like almost an hour, I want to say. But it was moving fairly quickly. But it got to a point to where we had to stand outside for a good 20 minutes. And then we moved inside. But it was, yeah, it was crazy. And I went to the Saturday show, so it was really crazy. And I thought this was going to sell out when I was in line. But when I got up there, they had it. So I was able to get it. And it was only, you can only get one per customer. So I wanted to get my friend one, but I couldn't do it. But this is a black rose right here. As you can see, it's a deep vampy color. And it's like purpley, like a nice pl a plumish purple type of color. So yeah. I like plumish plum purple type of color there so that is black rose and then i think it's supposed to air um uh, go on their website in march so if you guys are looking for this one i will put all the websites linked down for each company that i show you all uh throughout the haul so yeah so that was everything that i got from dosa colors and i got an array of colors do you guys see that I, i'm proud of myself like everything looks like old point right yeah i'm set for the summer <laughs> all right moving along to the next booth okay you guys so the next booth i went to was sigma and i only got one thing and it was this baby right here let me hold it upside down and it is the sigma spy glove so this is a glove that you can use to deep cleanse your brushes they have like two different textures on one one um on each side so one side is like for your brushes i mean your eye brushes of course and then the other side is for um for your face brushes so that thing will come in handy i didn't get any brushes just yet i'm still holding out to revamp my brushes because I currently own Sigma brushes, so I wanted to, you know, get invest in something that's going to take care of my brushes, you know? And with Sigma, they always give you free goodies. So let me show you the goodies that I got. So the first thing I got was the Sigma pen here, and somehow I ended up with two, so I'm not complaining about that. And uh, the next thing is this uh, eyeshadow sample here. So you got... Uh, like some blues and then you got some like pinks and grays over here so that's some eyeshadows that you want to uh, you would like to try out if you ever go to eye mask and before you commit to the actual shadows that they have with them and then the last but not least is this e21 smudge travel brush here and yeah this is pink so that is everything i got from sigma uh, moving straight along here, I uh, hop into Model in a Bottle. Uh, last time I went to IMAX New York in uh, last April, I got one of these setting sprays and I went through it like nobody's business. So, guess what? I got two of them. So, for Model in a Bottle, uh, their setting sprays were. I don't know what's going on outside, but if you guys hear sirens, please do not mind it. I'm sorry. 
everybody want to act a fool during rush hour okay but moving along this is like $27 for two or $28 for two so I said why not let me get that it was a good deal and all oh, the Sigma glove was only like $27 and it's normally like $35 $38 so yeah that's that so the next booth is OCC so OCC stands for obsessive compulsive cosmetics yeah that's a mouthful um and i got four things from them of course you cannot go to occ and not get lip tars so she me her i got my very first three lip tars now i wanted that little purple one that everybody has it's called technopangan and unfortunately they did not have it boo but I end up getting the three that I really like. So Hush was on my list. So it's like a nice pinky nude, like a bridal pink. So this is Hush here. If you guys would like to see a swatches of it, I would like, since it's three of it, I will post it on my Instagram or whatnot and show you a picture of the swatches. But I want to keep this haul moving along. The next one that I got was Lydia. And this is nice uh, neutral mauve type of color but it's just like a purple mauve uh color and with these things they go a long way so you just need like a dot of a product to put on your lips they last forever and the last but not least is vein which is this nice bluish green color you know matter of fact i'm gonna swatch vein for you all because this color is dope i always need to get like one bold color so let me show you. You see how much I put on my hand there? And I'm just going to spread it out and show you guys what it looks like. So that's it right there. And it's on my pinky. I don't know if you can see it. But there it is right there. So that is Vang. So those are the three lip tarts that I get. And last but not least, I got sucked in of getting a nail polish. Now the lip tarts are, were... Ten dollars and they're originally 18 so keep that in mind and this uh nail polish was five dollars and i could not i don't know what's up with this color but i'm i'm feeling this color this year i don't know like between like corals and like like this type of purple color i like it and they're like with their nail polish they're so like opaque and creamy so i was just like let me give it a try i see a lot of people always pick up their you know polishes during their haul so i'm like why not Meh. let's see Alright, moving along here. So the next booth I went to was Nigel Beauty Emporium. And usually Nigel's is known for like their dollar lashes and wherever whatever else they sell there. But I went there for lashes specifically and some Kevin Aquan concealer. So I got 13 pair of lashes from Nigel's Beauty Emporium. And I got the number uh, 43. So I got like majority of the number 43s. Everybody loves the number 43s. So that's them right here. You guys can see that. And what else did I get? The number 47s, which are these here, a little bit more dramatic. Uh, the number 48, which are these here. Uh, the number 62s, and I got two of those. And uh, I don't know if they're focusing. The number 119. So these are the lashes that I get from my job. Emporium. I'm like, I literally stocked up on lashes this year. And the Kevin O'Quan concealer I got for like under the highlight. Now, this concealer usually runs for like $48. Guess how much I pay for it, you guys? I'm just gonna let y'all just throw numbers out there right now. Just throw. Come on. Come listen. Just throw. Mm -hmm. No. $28. Yes, she did. That in this concealer, you need a, a tiny bit, okay? A tiny bit, and I got it for under the eye. Literally, this concealer is gonna last me forever. Now, I know the jar may look like a little thing, whatever, 
but this stuff will, is going to last me a lifetime. I low-key want to get one in my skin tone, but I, you know, I want to get the look one for under the eye because I know I'll be using it a lot. So, yes, and I got the shade S as in Sam, X as in Xavier, and the number 11. So that's the one that I received because the lady was trying to give me one in like SX8. And I'm like, lady, this looks like an NC30. I am not about to put that underneath my eye. You're tripping, honey, Lena. Listen, no, she's not. So everything that I got in this eye mask bags were like from booths that didn't really have like sturdy bags. And I just put it in the eye mask bag that I got last year because the eye mask bag that they gave me this year was like a cheap plastic bag. I was just like, I'm happy I kept this one so I can, you know, show it in the video, you know. <laughs> but um, I ended up putting some of uh, the different products in here. So I just be grabbing as I, you know, talk about it or whatnot. So, ooh, child, let me fix this. All right, so uh, the first thing that I see is this, these crown brushes that I got. And I got 11 brushes for $50, yes. I got 11 brushes, y'all, and I was so happy. So I got like a nice, um, contour brush and I've been wanting this brush forever and it's so soft like to really like sculpt out your cheek area so this is the C473 Pro Contour Brush. I got two of these nice shading brushes because I'm always packing on eyeshadow, uh, eyeshadow colors on my lid so I just wanted to re-up on some of that. I got two of these nice uh, blending brushes and I really like these brushes here because like they have like some nice bristles in it to really like blend but still pack on color and blend and like kind of like do two things at one time. So this one is the C441 Pro Blending Brushes. I can't talk. Ugh. So that's that and I got two of those. Um, I got this nice flat uh, uh, C, it's just a C460 uh, and it's a nice like... Um, blendy brush where you really want to be precise like like outer v type of corner brush with some color so i got that one and let's see here i got this uh blending brush for like uh really being uh pre precise with color placement and i like that it has density to it but it's still soft because some brushes can like the two pack and the uh you can't or too like fluffy to where you can't blend out or you can't concentrate the color and it's just blending really easily so i like that one for that and i got this nice precision uh flat dome brush because i really wanted something to like spot conceal um certain areas and it's really soft and i like how like this it is so it's like a miniature f80 from Sigma and I really like that one yeah that's gonna be my boo and this one here reminds me of the 224 blending brush and also the Sigma E40 uh, blending brush this brush is so soft I can't stop like touching it like it's just soft it's just like one of them um, brushes that helps like diffuse color and like helps uh blend really easy like this brush is so soft y'all and it oh yeah it, it does have a name it's the 330 pro blending brush so c330 pro blending brush so get that one for sure and i got another like precision brush but it has like a taper like a taper uh end to it and with this one, I kind of like wanted to get it for like a uh, cream contouring, like on the face and the nose. So I want to see how that works. And last but not least, I got this nice fan uh, kabuki brush, kabuki, uh, kabuki fan brush. So I want to use this uh, brush to like kind of like dust on my highlights and aerials. And yeah, so that is everything that I got from Crown Brushes. So 11 brushes, you guys, but... $50. You cannot beat that. No, you can't. No, you can't. No, you won't. Okay. Alright. Dig it in the back. Again. Ah. 
Okay, so the next place I went to was Friends Beauty Supply, and I got me some beauty blenders and a, uh, what is this called? I was going to say spatula, be clear. <laughs> Uh, like a light, a little pastry dish, like to place color on. Like, so if you're using pigments, if you're using foundation, if you're mixing, like a mixing tray, a mixing tray. There we go. Yep, that's what it's called. So I got one of these, and these, this was like three dollars. And the beauty blender. So normally beauty blenders are what twenty, twenty dollars, you guys. Yeah, like twenty dollars for one beauty blender. So I got two beauty blenders plus the liquid uh, cleanser. And I paid $32 for this. Yes, I paid $32 for that. So that was everything that I got from friends. Um, let's see what else I got in here. So the next booth that I went to was Beauty Treats. And it was like slash something else. But I know Beauty Treats are known for these wipes here and they were two for five dollars i wanted to get more but i never tried them but i always hear people raving about them so i got cucumber and you get 30 of them and i got apricot and you get 30 as well so i'm going to try these out because i mean i use makeup every day like you know so why not two for five yeah i had to stock up on me some wipes Okay, so the next booth that I went to was Velour Lashes, and I finally got me some mink lashes. These will be my birthday lashes of this year, and I got the one in, what, which ones did I get about? Girl You Crazy, that's the name of them. Girl You Crazy, and they look like this. Let me take this out so you can see it. And you can use these up to, I think, 20 to 30 times let it focus so you guys can see that so these are the girl you crazy lashes and they are real meek lashes they're 100 percent natural meek hairs and they're like light as a feather I always says it on the back that oh uh, an average of 25 applications so yeah so I got these and I like how they crisscross and all of that. So normally these lashes are like $30, $35 and I got it for $20. So I'm happy I finally got my velour lashes. Fancy now. Got me some minks. No. <laughs> Then I just went lash crazy, y'all. So I got lashes from Nigel's. I got lashes from Velour. I could not walk past Lady Moss booth and not get any Coco lashes. Like, who who does that? And I should have got more. Mm. But I ended up getting four because they were like four for 20, four for 19 or something like that. So I got four. So I got um, Ariel, and they look just like House of Lashes. Like, I'm seriously going to let these focus for you because you need to see how pretty these lashes are. Like, so this one here is Ariel. So they're quite natural, in my opinion. And I got two Foxies. I don't want it to get out of focus. So I got two of the Foxies. And the last one I got was Vixen. And they're like double stack, triple stack, dramatic like lashes. I love these. These are so freaking cute. So those are Vixen. So yeah, Coco lashes are the bomb. Like you can get them on Lady Moss uh, website if you want. So yeah, I will suggest you all to pick up some of those. And the last but not least, I got this eyelash case holder. So when I want to reuse my lashes, I can just put them in here and they can have a safe little home to live in. And yeah, my lashes. So you can put like one, two, three, like three lashes in it. Uh, three pairs of lashes in that. And yeah. So moving along here. We're so the next booth that I wanted to go to was Inglot. And Inglot, um they have it inside the macy's here but after using my friend's gel liner over the weekend i was sold so you all know i got the infamous number 77 
gel liner in black uh from Inglot and this stuff here does not budge it's like the blackest of the black and I'm usually a liquid liner type of girl but I'm just like this got me so child like oh yes that's gonna have my wing eyeliner on point so that is all that I got from Inglot and it gave me a cute little pink bag see I got like a lot of pink bags see they know what my favorite color is it's definitely pink all right so i went to sugar pill and i wanted me a sugar pill bag and they told me that i had to buy the pro palette and i didn't want to buy the pro palette so they gave me this nice little pink bag and i just put my sugar pill sticker on it so it could be cuter so yeah that's the sugar pill sticker that they gave me with this little advertisement thing inside here and um I got the loose eyeshadow from them and I think they packaging is so freaking adorable like and I of course you know I got Goldilux. Goldilux is really popular. Look at me holding like the sugar bill bag on my wrist. <laughs> so it says when you open up the package it says hi cutie right there. That is just too doggo cute. They just know they ugh just ugh cute. Um eh. I don't want to waste it. Okay, I'm going to do this. Put this bag on my arm. Okay. Eh. Okay. So that is Goldilux right there. And I'm going to swatch it on my palm of my hand. That's what I'm going to do. So bear with me because I'm trying not to waste this loose eyeshadow on me. So basically loose eyeshadow is basically what, what they call like their pigments. And that is Goldilux right there i don't know if you guys can see that but this stuff look like per gold oh my like gold like 24 karat gold <laughs> so I, I really wanted this one because you could do a lot with this i've seen people use this on their lips i've seen people use this on their cheeks i've seen people use this on their eyes like this stuff is bomb like yes get me together sugar peels Okay, next place that I went to at IMAX, and I believe it was the last place. Yeah, because the only two, I got two other bags to show you. Three other bags, but they're not from IMAX. And it was Namie's. Yes, Namie's. And Namie sells a lot of like, Namie's like a Sephora of LA. And they sell all of like the high end brands at their store. So it's a, another beauty supply store like Sephora. And also, ah, I'm about to drop my stuff. So, uh, the first thing that was on my list was this Lorac Perfection Matte Primer. I had a sample of this. And literally, when I tell y'all I squeezed the death out of that sample, I sure did. So, I was like, I need to get this primer if they are selling it. And guess what? They were. This primer retails for about like $32, $35. And like Ulta because they or either at Namie's and guess how much I paid for this primer you guys they gave us pro uh discounts for and I went on Saturday and they were still giving pro discounts at Namie's and uh oh yeah at Namie's and I paid $19 for this primer and this is hands down one of the best primers that I have ever used like I, I don't know what it is about this primer but if you guys are going to IMS New York make sure you stop at Namie's I don't know if they're going to be there but or your also whatever get this primer because this is a good primer like seriously the best primer ever and the next thing I got was uh, two eyeshadow palettes now I was supposed to get uh, the Lac the Rock Lorac Pro palette Ugh, I can't talk and the Lorac Pro 2 palette so I can just they can be just one happy family with my Lorac Makeup Pro palette but that lady over there she got me y'all Cause she sucked me in so I end up giving getting the pro palette and it give you a free uh, eyeshadow primer with that so you all know how this what this looks like I never owned it before so yes I'm late to the game but that is the low rock pro palette if you're seeing it for the first time and I've always wanted this palette. It retails for like $49. And I got this palette for $25. So I said, all your palettes are $25 over here? Let, let they not be. 
So I was going to get the Lorac Pro palette, as I was saying. But they told me that they had their new unzip, uh, Lorac Unzip Gold palette. And I was so, let me, let me open up this palette. I'm going to do some swatches with this one. And then you get the primer in this one too, $25 for a new, a new palette, y'all. Okay, let me show y'all these colors these colors are i'm dropping stuff are the best i'm gonna do and they everything starts with a uh so you got unleashed undress unlimited unlock unwind unfair uh, un, unafraid all this other stuff so look at uh, look at that that is just pure just uh good quality eyeshadows swatches I just, I've never seen a palette look like this before. Like, y'all, this is just, look at that. And that's just three of them. You get two, four, six, eight, ten. Ten shades of, of greatness for $25 and a decent size. You know I had to get this. So, I lost my noodle and got two of those and said, LeRoy Pro 2, what? Who? <laughs> like, I will eventually get it one day, but I just had to get this because this, I love shimmer shades on my lid. Anybody that knows me. So, yeah, this was the palette for me, y'all. I had to get that one. So, that is uh, what I got from Namie's. And they also gave us a free tantalizer sample. So, it's a brownie, uh, body bronzer, uh, luminizer type of thing. So while we were uh, shopping in LA, I ended up going to Sephora. Like you cannot go on a makeup trip without going to Sephora or Mag. So I ended up going to Sephora, and guess what I got? Bam! <laughs> I got the new Too Faced uh, semi semi sweet chocolate bar. So it's like the second edition of the. Uh, chocolate bar and it is so cute i love the packaging on this this is nice like pinky new type of case and it's just so cute and they got all the names on there already it's just full of greatness and this one smells like chocolate too yes it does now they also were selling this at the namie's booth at imax when i went the next day but I was afraid that they would sell out. So I had a, a, a gift card from my best friend, Angel. So I decided to use that towards my purchase just in case. And I ended up breaking even because I only paid like 20 some dollars for it after my gift card. And I think like Namie's was selling it for 20 some dollars too. So I was just like, what the heck? I paid the same. So whatever. So I ended up getting this one. And I'm so excited to use this. You can never have enough neutral shades. So if you guys want to see a look. Uh, like a tutorial using this palette let me know and comment below in the description box and I will do so because honey she is on it for the 2015 videos I don't know if you guys seen my vlog but go ahead and check that out it's gonna be listed below moving along here so we end up driving down Melrose and I was just like okay i wonder what they got over here so we end up going to the dash store and then right next to the dash store was a nars freestanding nars store and i've never seen nars like outside of like macy's and sephora so of course we had to go in there and i end up getting three things from nars and um the lady in there was so sweet she ended up giving me a 25 percent discount because she seen me vlogging in the store and i didn't have like all the information i need to get me a pro card just yet so she ended up giving me a discount so thank you so much i believe her name was anna and if i'm butchering that and if you're watching it sorry but yeah i think it was anna yeah anna that sounds right or ann anna or ann so thank you so much. So I got a foundation. I got the NARS Sheer Glow Foundation. And um, it is in the shade Macau. And this is how it looks. And I also got a, a pump to go with that because I love my foundations to have a pump because I, I don't need to waste no part of it. Okay, this foundation is not cheap. So I got that one. And I also got a Audacious Lipstick and Barbara. And this is my very, very first 
Audacious lipstick. Let me open it up. So this is how it looks. It has like NARS across the packaging here. And then when you open up, it's full of greatness. Okay, another nude. I just love new lipsticks, okay? Sue me. So, and then it also has like NARS written down here. I don't know if you guys can see that, but that's dope. That's so dope to me. And it's just like nice matte chic. And look, y'all, it's magnetized. Like, so cute. So, that is everything I got. The pump, the foundation, and the lipstick from NARS. So last, so last but not, all right, you guys. So last but not certainly least, we went to Nasty Gal on Melrose, and I end up getting two things from Nasty Gal, and it was a skirt and this lipstick. I'm about to show y'all. Wait till you guys will see this. You're going to be so surprised. So, this skirt is just a scuba skirt, like a scuba skating, skater girl type of uh, skirt here. And I got it to wear to work. This And it's like really good material. Like this stuff feels like a million dollars. Like this, this is a good, some, a good skirt. <laughs> so I got this for work. I think it's really cute and girly. So yeah, that's that. And I end up getting, hold on, I got something else in here. I end up, I end up getting a Gunner lipstick by MAC. And let me show you. It was a part of the Nasty Gal collection. Now, when it came out, I said I was going to get it. And I was just like, no, Jasmine, you don't make up punishment. You got to wait till you go to IMAX. And I was just like, well, it's IMAX weekend. And what a coincidence that I saw this lipstick. And I brought it at full price. And it's gonna right here. So let me swatch it for you all. This is my first time swatching it. Oh, it's so pretty and creamy, and it's a matte finish, and it's just too cute. So that's gonna right there, and I got it. I, I was so surprised that they were selling it at that store. So uh the last thing that I got was these sunglasses. Let me cut this off real quick. It was these sunglasses and we were at Hollywood Boulevard when we got this at like a souvenir shop and I seen these and I was just like oh this green jasmine and I only paid five dollars for these because like close close to closing time that they were selling everything in a store t-shirts watches keychains shot glasses sunglasses jewelry five dollars so usually they sell their things at ten but I got these for five and it's these bad boys right here. Mm -hmm. uh, that completes my haul, you guys. Uh, if you want to see my vlog, make sure you click the link below if you haven't watched it yet. Thank you so much for surviving through this long haul video. I will be continuously going to IMAX every year to get great deals. And if you guys... um ever want to go to IMAX you kind of get an idea of what you're going to spend I hope you enjoy this haul and I catch you all in the next video thank you so much for supporting my channel and watching and yeah peace